All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Starfield Part 116. And today, we will finally investigate the Charbonus system. Something started as soon as I got here, so I paused it ASAP. Um, maybe we're like halfway into the first word, whatever is happening right now. Like, I just heard a sound and I dipped out. So, I also found one other thing we can do before we finish the game, which is great. I'll show you that later, but for now, I told you we'd investigate the Charbonus system. We're gonna investigate the Charbonus system. Let's give it a look. Charybdis. Charybdis? Is that what it said? I've been saying it all kinds of ways. <clears throat> Whoa, that's a lot of planets, but honestly, not a lot of moons, so this probably wouldn't take too long to survey, all things considered. God, speaking of survey, we are level 114, verging on 115, and we have surveyed fully 1,058 planets at this point. <laughs> it's a lot. We've been doing way much. We've surveyed so many places that I'm actually out of ammo with the Big Bang. Other than eight mags and the refined uh, Varun Inflictor. No, yeah, we're out. Zero rounds. I didn't realize till too late that these two both share the same ammo type. And that's where all the Big Bang ammo had been going is it had been getting used here. So I just need to sell this because I'd rather use the ammo for this gun than this gun. That was a mistake on my part. Um, the mag sniper is, is not great, to be honest. It's really not great. But the Revenant still has plenty of ammo, and the Micro Gun still has plenty of ammo, so we're ready to go on that front. Also, God, we look good. <clears throat> we have four skill points, and I have every combat perk we've been using ready to level up. So we're just gonna go ahead and use those four skill points, I think. Right? Yeah, we have level three Outpost Engineering. Yeah, I can't imagine us doing anything else with it. Uh, not been getting into, like, any dogfights at all, so the missile system upgrade is not happening yet either. So yeah, let's just go ahead and spend these four points. Ballistics do 20% more. Shotguns do 20% more. Heavy weapons do 20% more. And rifles do 20% more. Big upgrades here! And now it's kill 50 with each weapon type. Um, which, getting 50 kills with a shotgun will take some time, because we got to get a lot more Big Bang ammo together. And 50 kills with a heavy weapon. We have eight. We have eight thousand ammo, I believe, with the um, micro gun. But it uses ammo quick, so I don't know if we can get fifty with that. But let's see. Is that it? Ugh. It's been so long since I hit L to check my missions. Operation Starseed. Go to Crucible on Sharib on Caribdis three. Oh snap. <laughs> I've received a curious distress call saying that a place called Crucible needs help. Well, let's do it. You know how long it's been since I've done something genuinely new in this game? Oh my god, I'm ready. Let's go to the dark land of Crucible. I expect it'll be a whole thing, but we'll see. Yeah, I've been using the mag sniper on planets just because I've been out of ammo with other things. Let's get the micro gun out. Micro gun if it's aliens, revenant if it's people. Hello. But what if it's robots? Tobias. An undisclosed secret location. Uh, I received your dis- what exactly is this place? Is not part of plan. End of inquiry. <laughs> I received your distress call. Acknowledging receipt of emergency request. Explanation deemed acceptable. Clearance granted to Crucible. Outsider will deliver 150 units of copper. Compensation will be dispensed. Tobias, stand down. <laughs> what? Visitor. 150 copper. Deliver required material. End of conversation. This, this is incredible. For so long we hoped for any visit, and the day has finally arrived. Really? <laughs> uh, it's really out of the way. You must not see many people. Uh, what is this place? Oh dear, that's a surprisingly 
tricky question. Right, right. I'm probably not the person to answer it, but it is a genuine pleasure to meet you. <clears throat> Karibdis is really out of the way. You must not see many people. We see no one, ever. Your arrival is truly an historic one, but many fear what it portends. The societies have closed their doors and are arguing about what to do. The While societies? What? Which way the wind blows. Franklin would know what to do. He's the oldest among us. You should talk with him. Whoa, this looks like it might be like a whole thing. What do you mean by societies? Most of us are like me, free and unaligned. But there are three societies that are oft at odds with one another. The Believers, the Pragmatists, and the Renegades. It would be wise to meet each of them. Franklin leads the Pragmatists. Oh, this is actually going to be a whole thing. Why are people hiding? Crucible is a tinderbox. And any spark will set it off. We're still recovering from a deadly conflict that happened three years ago. Far fewer of us are here to greet you today because of it. I'll go look for Franklin then. Give it time, and I'm sure the others will come out. For curiosity's sake, if nothing else. This feels vaguely like one of those situations that ends with, and they were never heard from again. That is kind of what it feels like, isn't it? Oh my god, so... This might be a whole thing. Good. Good. Um, the other thing I found that we can do, by the way, is over here in Schrodinger. Where is Schrodinger? It's somewhere around here. Here it is. At Schrodinger 3, there is a ship called the Colander, or the Colander. And it's a pretty decent sized ship that we could dock, but won't. But nobody will respect the hail. So it could just be a derelict ship for all I know, but it's something else that we discovered. Um, something new that we could do for the future. Just before I forget about it, I figured I'd point that out. That we do have a couple things we can do. But this could very well be our last true bulky side quest. So let's try to get what we can out of it. Is that? Yes, it is. Sorry, let me just go ahead and scan that. I'm going to have to survey this place eventually. Cesium! Nice. That would have been a bitch to find, I bet. Hey, Franklin. Very clean and empty place you got here. When your ship landed, I feared the robots would shoot you on sight. I am greatly relieved that they let you enter our community. But you come during a delicate time. Everyone will seek to use your arrival to further their own ends. <laughs> okay. Is he supposed to be Benjamin Franklin? <laughs> you don't control the robots? No, we most certainly do not. Our relationship with them is a matter of some debate. It's a weird old time outfit, and your accent is odd. Where to begin? Ah, maybe an introduction? I am Franklin Delano Roosevelt, leader of the Pragmatist Society. Is this a cloning facility? No way. There was an American president named Franklin D. Roosevelt. You know your history then. I am, in a sense, President Roosevelt. Everyone that lives here are clones. So oh my god, that's so sick! Of the greatest figures of history, and others? Well, we don't rightly know. When we die, and some of us die quite often, we are brought back. <laughs> I cannot imagine how strange this must sound to an outsider. This is some wild shit. I can assure you, this is all exceedingly strange. Baffling, even. <laughs> uh, to have such advanced cloning technology is unheard of. How? Is it? I wish I could illuminate you on this. But we are as ignorant of the technology which brought us into being as we are of the outside world. Who set this up? Who's paying for this? Who did this? Are you immortal then? Not at all. I have had occasion to see death more than anyone. When someone dies, all they have accomplished here in Crucible, all of their deeds, thoughts... Gone. Right. And when they come back, they are different. Modified. Right. The believers say they are. Well, I mean, 
You wouldn't remember something that your clone did. Sometimes over a decade. But everyone comes back. Uh, have I have encountered Stranger Things? So, are you like? Do you have memories of being a president? No, there is the question, isn't it? I okay, that's what I needed to know. Memories, but I know every nuance of his life and times. Well, as as much as history records, I confess, I I feel an undeniable affinity towards him. Makes sense. No. I, I am my own man, but not all of us see it that way. Some believe truly in reincarnated, right? I've encountered stranger. Th uh, I want to know who you people are and what's going on. Yeah, that. I could see how confusing this may be, even frustrating. But if it's any consolation, many of us feel the same, and we live here after decades, centuries of trying to figure it out ourselves there is so very much we don't know either the robots clone us for a reason their so-called mission or the what plan yeah and what we should do about it something the societies disagree about sometimes violently it's best to meet with the other societies and after i promise i'll explain the pragmatist's position on matters <laughs> okay. Whoa, this is weird. What can you tell me about the mission? Well, it is one of the few concrete things we know about Crucible. If you want to truly know about the mission, the believers will tell you all about it. Okay. It can be hard to get them to stop talking about it. After so they believe in the mission, believe in the plan. My position. <clears throat> all right. I'll hold you that promise, Frank. I can't wait to see who I get to meet next. <laughs> this is kind of true. I'll hold you that promise, Franklin. Mm. Please do. Word has been sent, so the street should be full again. There is more I would talk with you about, but I would not take advantage of your ignorance. Go speak with the Monirinas and Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan! Oh my god, what a unit! Um, who is a Monirinas? What? Mission. Have a chance to build a real life here on Crucible. Oh, the pragmatists don't believe in the mission at all. Okay. This is cozy. I mean, they look like they should be comfortable at the very least. Do they work? Like, what do they do? I mean, this looks fine. Do they have supplies? They look like they should be good. Welcome to town, stranger. Wyatt. Be part of the welcoming committee. The name's Wyatter, and I'd be most pleased if you'd use one of the spare rooms during your stay. For a modest fee, of course. <laughs> I don't know who Wyatt is. Wyatt Earp was a sheriff? I don't know that. Uh, I didn't figure Wyatt Earp would run a hotel. You and me both there. I do the best I can to uphold the law, but the societies make that difficult. I expect I've had as much success restraining Genghis as the Chinese did. <laughs> I can. Roosevelt and I are both of the same mind on that. Okay, so you're a pragmatist then. I'm for whatever side wants to keep the peace. It means that the pragmatists and I are often on the same side of things. But you might be surprised the number of times I've had to ask some of them to back off some nonsense. Right. <laughs> I'll keep my law breaking to a minimum then. <laughs> I can work with that. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay. This is such a cool idea, Bethesda. To some essentials I've picked up over the years. Happy to sell them to you. Yes, that. Is there a lot of crime in Crucible? It runs hot and cold. During usual times, it's an occasional scuffle. Maybe a black eye when an argument gets out of hand. And then a society goes on a rampage and it's tombstone all over. I hope you're right. Tombstone all over. Even keel. Okay, let's see what you have for sale. Of course. Do you have heavy fuses? He does not. He has aid. Bunch of a <laughs> bunch of alien food. Great. Excellent. 
Well, at least he buys all my junk. So... A tape measure. When did I pick that up? Anyway. What am I selling here? I guess I'll sell my... One of my survey datas. Two of them, even. There you go. Enjoy. We're at 4.2 million credits, by the way. I'm hoping you come back for some repeat business. Right, right. In my darkest hours, Amelia Earhart! We were all that was left of humanity. Amelia Earhart! Your ship. She's a beauty. It travels the stars, right? Tell me, what's it like out there? <laughs> um, no matter how much I see, it never gets old. Oh, that's just how I imagine it. My name's Amelia Earhart. When I first woke up in this place, in my head, I knew all about my namesake, her life, and her accomplishments. But I also knew how to fly a starship, reactor limits, thrust acceleration vectors, and everything. In my wow. mind, I can imagine. Flying out there, touching heaven itself, and yet, truly, here I sit. You want to join my crew? <laughs> Still can't get over this place. You're Amelia Earhart. I'd say the one and only, but I suppose that's just not true. Listen, <laughs> I know you owe me nothing at all, but I would do anything to get off of here. I know the societies want who knows what from you for who knows why. And I don't want to get involved in any politics. Are we taking her I with just us? I want, for my single self, a chance to explore. Are there any incentives to helping you? I'd happily earn my way. Like I said, a lot of space fare and know-how has been put in my head. Let's put it to good use, right? If I can help you, I will. I you won't regret it. I. Thanks. Do you want to talk about anything else? Have any thoughts on the societies? I have a few choices. This is so cool. About some of them. <laughs> but I'm going to say a few here. choice unchristian Listen, thoughts. I'd understand you making any decision you have to regarding them. Any at all. I just hope you judge me separate. I don't wish harm on anyone. I just want to explore. I bet that's true. Do you think you're the real Amelia, Amelia Earhart? No, I don't. I consider myself a most ardent admirer of hers. She feels like... family. Distant family. I like to think we both share a kindred spirit of adventure, though. She broke so many barriers in her life. I would love the same opportunity one day. This is, cr this is crazy. This is crazy! Whoever's idea was this, was genius. It's like Clone High in a video game. What am I looking at? This is Wyatt, okay. Here's This must be the hotel then. Believers, okay. People just residing in the hotel. Uh-huh, sure. Yeah, I believe that. For a new slate, anything at all. Yeah, reading the same thing over and over every day. Um, this isn't where I started, is it? No, I started over there. Wow, they got the same design. Just about. Not quite the same, I guess. Dude, this place is crazy! Oh, there are howls at night the defenses have to hold. That's kind of nuts. Let me tell you, when I came here for this episode, I didn't. I expected a lot of combat and some kind of like either like broken down facility or pirates or something. I a hundred percent did not. Should I know who Amon Arenas is? I'm probably super dumb on history. I don't know who this is at all. Um, but this is so sick. I wish I knew some of these characters. Ada Lovelace. Do I know that name? That's ringing a bell, but I don't think I know that one either. I had hoped you would visit me. 
Oh, okay. She's a big Egyptian character, no, clearly. That you stand before Queen Amani Rinas of the Kush. I think that's Queen Egyptian. I'm not sure. On a dead world. But I earned my name, and even the sands of time cannot take it from me. What's the Kush? In truly ancient times, my land lay south. Okay, south of Egypt, not Egypt. Country. History is enamored of my contemporary Cleopatra. Right. But she would have knew that and died had she tried to rule my land. Got it. Nice to meet you, Your Majesty. Your courtesy is appreciated, even though it rings hollow. My subjects are all dust. If you don't believe me, no, you are not alone. Some clones deride me behind my back. I know this, but I feel in my bones that I am a Manirinas for true, the great and the terrible to those who would oppose me. Okay, so she I genuinely believes in this no stuff. One has told me. Memories of faces, betrayers, lovers, allies. And enemies. Okay. The smells. The right scent. And I close my eyes. And I can picture all of it so vividly. It aches my heart. My home. My kingdom. Huh. How can you be certain? Have you so no certain. Faith of your own? No. <laughs> Something to hold to, even though it cannot be proven. No, because it, it can't be proven. <laughs> but I she just assumed my answer would be yes. You speak to a Manirinas. Be born. All right. I'll withhold my judgment. You are wise, then. I know how it must sound. Once, I called upon mighty army. However, on crucible I still lead. Have you heard of the believers? Have you heard of the mission? I've heard of both of them existing, but nothing else. Who will take our rightful place in these settled systems? Okay, so they know it's called the settled systems, at least. And break the endless cycles of oppression and greed. Who set this up? Who went all the way out to Charybdis and set this up? Charybdis is almost as far to the right on the solar system map as you can possibly go. Can you tell me about the mission? So many scoff at the mission. Before we are reborn here, there are words all of us are told. That we are the chosen. We are meant to better ourselves. To learn, grow, and thrive. All of us represent the greatest figures in our history. Who better to lead the settled systems to a new golden age? Uh huh. You really think you can change everything? You are skeptical. My advisors thought the same when Augustus Caesar stood unbeatable at Cush's border. I made war against the mighty Romans. I took their cities and fought them to a draw. No other king or queen can boast of that honor against that famed Roman. And that's just... Is that true? Some of the greatest lions of all ages are awaiting rebirth. What are bureaucrats, petty politicians, and lawyers against that? Is that true? Did she fight? Did the Kush fight Augustus Caesar to a draw? I know he went, like, unbeaten. But I had always assumed that he won everything because of that. Did they fight to a draw? That might be true. I don't know the history on that. <laughs> you would think I do. Because I did a whole play th Never mind. Anyway, this mission is doomed to fail in so many ways. And you want me to help with this. We could do it ourselves. We would have, years ago. I do not care if you think my plan is insane. But what I want, what we want, is a chance to prove to the facility we are ready. When someone has achieved their potential, the facility is supposed to set us free among the stars. But the machines have been breaking more and more over the years. And no one has ever been deemed worthy. I need your help to properly fix the facility so that we can prove ourselves and claim our birthright. Uh, what is the facility? The facility is another place on this very planet. A place we cannot go. As much as we dream of it. 
Maybe none of you are ready? Surely someone, anyone by now would have learned the lessons the facilities ought to teach. No, the machines have not aged well. The crises break upon our beach, each one greater than the last. Okay. Tell me what you need then. I need you to go to the facility. The robots and what drives them is not here. The facility is where they come from. Somewhere far to the east. None of us can travel there. But you can go there. Okay. Please, and see if the facility can be repaired. Then report back to me. This is some of the most interesting and and some of the most like some of the coolest ideas this whole game has ever had and it's just hid way off into this into the corner. It's if it's kind of Elden Ring-ish almost, where like Elden Ring hides its best moments like away from the main story or whatever. What the? Okay. Uh, says someone who's never beaten Elden Ring, but you know what I mean. It's hard when you only get one life on each Elden Ring character. Are you a scientist? I suppose I am what passes for one here. I have my namesake's education, so I am well versed there. But without any books or treatises from other scientists, my knowledge is limited. Some clones receive specialized knowledge, like Amelia. She knows how spacecraft works. So interviewing them has been fantastic for learning more advanced scientific principles. Right. Mainly I conduct experiments, rudimentary as they are. Who is Lovelace? Your pep talks never make me feel better. <laughs> are you a clone of a historical figure too? Oh, yes. Ada Lovelace, at your service. My namesake worked with Charles Babbage and is widely considered the first female programmer. Ah! So what our little experiments led to. I only wish Mr. Babbage was here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. How is it not being in a society here? Uncomfortable. I'm not surprised I didn't know that. The believers are undeniably favored by the facility. Their complex receives food and materials first. When blood is spilt, the facility robots often side with them, and always the arguments and fisticuffs. Most of us just want to live in peace. Right. Okay. Farewell, outsider. Boy, I can't wait to meet Genghis Khan. This guy's an absolute monster, and as a fellow villain. Let me just say, I'm looking forward to meeting the man. 150 copper to Tobias. Why would I have that? Why would I have 150 copper? He's outside the walls. Genghis Khan is absolutely out there. Spitting goat weed. They set up on a cesium spot. That's kind of wild. Adhere to the mission. That is a big satellite. Uh, Genghis, what are you doing out here, man? There's so much happening right now. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, Genghis, good kill. The man from the stars, come to see me. And you're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I guess the world out there is not so different than here. Genghis Khan, a pleasure to meet you. I can't believe it. You're really Genghis Khan. And don't believe it. It is true his blood runs through my veins. But I am not he. Crucible tries to imprint the clones with fake memories. Genghis okay. predated the Mongols having written records. For being so great a figure, we know practically nothing about him. Right. Where was he born? How he died? Where he was buried? A single speech he gave, <clears throat> nothing. It must have driven the robots mad, trying to figure out what to do with me. <laughs> uh, one of the most terrible butchers in all history. 
Not him, but his namesake is. Much more civil than I was expecting. Sure, we'll say that. Manners cost me nothing. But make no mistake. Good line. I will do whatever it takes to escape this prison. I am pleased that the dangers out here are of no concern to you. You cannot be fully human if you trap yourself behind walls. Why are you really out here? I would provide fresh meat for my society so we don't get fat off the robots. Franklin and I see eye to eye on very little, but even he appreciates this. And I always hope to see some means of escape. Perhaps our luck has finally changed. Don't try to take my ship now. I still cannot believe I'm meeting Genghis Khan. <clears throat> you can handle yourself well out here. The robots taught me many things any mongrel would know. So, hunting game, even such as this, is little challenge to me. So Franklin told you of us. Oh, that we're clones? Uh -huh. Some of us think that makes us special. That the deeds of our namesakes are somehow ours. Right. That is blind arrogance. We are just people. Same as you. Same as anyone. Right. Yeah, I think sharing the same DNA as such noteworthy people counts for something. Agreed. I think the science would back your view. I'm surprised you didn't change your name then. So we really feel no connection to Genghis at all. I think sharing the same DNA is such noteworthy people counts for something. Perhaps you are right. Certainly. Many in Crucible would agree. Ah, but all this talk gets us nowhere. Too many of the others grovel at the feet of the damned robots. Trying to play the roles in a broken game. The renegades will not submit. And one day, we will be free. There you go. Uh, what would you do if you escaped? I do not know. Everything outside of Crucible is unknown to us. I imagine the settled systems are not so settled that a man who does not shrink from violence can't make a place for himself, though. So Crucible's a prison. A prison of the mind and the body. Crucible holds out a throne and says, Obey, and it is yours. But thrones are meant to be taken, not handed to you by a machine. Thrones are meant to be taken. What a, this guy's lines are good. Keeps the others in line. Right. Then you should leave. Were it that easy, I have died a dozen deaths trying to find a way out of Crucible. You get too far or disobey too much, then death. Crucible holds our lives in its hands. Uh-huh. But now the robots have made a grave mistake. You. You can go where none of us can. Ha, who set this up? future in your hands. And all the societies know it. Crucible really kills you. Oh, yes. You can go one or two miles from Crucible. And you drop dead. I have no knowledge of medicine, but it's probably poison. It boils my blood to be subjugated like this. But too many of the clones are sheep. As long as their pens are clean and comfortable, they bleat their arguments. Bleat. <laughs> what Crucible is doing is wrong. They should allow you to leave if you want to. You know of the facility, yes? Go there, and make the machines let us leave. It is not much to ask, and it will set us free. Talk to Franklin again. Okay. Alright. I really wish I could get rid of that Yonic marker. I'm over that. Cave over there? Okay. I'm sure everything near this spot must be, like, somewhat planned out. has to be. Right? Any interesting results? Chlorine and water is all we need left. Okay. 
So is Amelia Earhart, like... <laughs> okay, I don't want to say a person's a trophy, but like... Is she like a quest reward almost? Like if <laughs> once we finish this area, she can come with us maybe? I don't know. This is really cool though. So, you have heard from the other societies. I must confess I'm very curious what an outsider thought of them. And their positions. You might be the first objectively neutral party we've ever come across. <laughs> Both of them are misguided and probably dangerous. Genghis is right, this is a cage and your people need freedom. Think some of the greatness of your original selves may live in you. Think what you could accomplish. Still trying to wrap my head around all this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm still trying to wrap my head around all this. A very diplomatic approach. The facility has gathered some of the most obstinate and dangerous personages throughout history. Uh huh. It has told them that they should lead in a golden age via whatever means they see appropriate. Setting us all loose, father as a whole, would invite disaster. We are barely fit to lead ourselves. To be fair, if you get a bunch of leaders in an area, it's going to cause problems because leaders are not usually good followers. Kind of like when you get an all-star team in basketball or esports and there's a bunch of players that want to be the best, the star on the team, and they end up kind of sabotaging each other, whether intentionally or not. Would it be that bad? The most likely case is anyone that leaves Crucible would die or silently Fail. But if the mission is correct, and they do take over the settled systems, in the course of history, it took millennia to cast out petty tyrants. The way ahead lies not looking to the past to literally guide us, but for this generation to learn from us. Terrible and great figures we represent had their time. We made the most of it. Be at peace with it. Um, don't some individuals deserve a chance, though? Mm. A tough but fair question. I must admit the case of Amelia Earhart sometimes keeps me up at night. It is safer if the rule is strict. But if you wanted to make an exception or two, I, I could live with that. But no one from the other societies. They are all dangerous. In their own way. Uh huh. Tell me your plan then. Certainly. It is evident that the facility is decaying. It is both unsustainable and unwise for us to fix and maintain the status quo. Our community must be weaned off the machines, learn how to build, grow, and govern ourselves. Right. Allowed to raise families. So we can pass our lessons to the next generation. And to die when our allotted time is finished. One day we will be worthy of going to the stars. We are just not there yet. Huh. Is it wrong if others want to escape this prison? Do not listen to passion. Genghis can be very persuasive, but he's a fool. In some sense, we are an abomination. A science project made for unknown ends and with uncertain results. Once we are fully human, fully self-reliant, then we should be allowed to join the settled systems. You can't raise families because you're clones? Does it mean you're infertile? Yes. And not to be indelicate. <laughs> not for lack of trying. Right. <laughs> Are we even human in this state? We have no future. Only the past. So they're all sterile. Okay. Um, I can't let all your people remain trapped here. I'll think about it. Now that's a good goal. Count me in. I'll think about it. I am sure in time you will see the validity of my argument. I don't think any of you are really wrong, other than maybe the believers. See what can be done. Go to the facility is what it's all leading to. Okay. What's going on, Wyatt? Listen, it's not safe to talk here. It's about Roosevelt. There's something you need to know. 
What do you know about Roosevelt? Not here. If he found out I'm even talking to you about this. If he has something to say, I'm all ears. There's a well cave. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. No chance of us being listened in on. Please, come as quick as you can. Ideally, before you go to the facility. Okay. Um, if it's that important, I'll go now. Okay, he's off. I need to go out there. Thanks for your time. Yep. Okay, let's go back to the ship and see if we can do any research before we go. And see how much copper we have, I guess. We do not have that much copper. He's going that way. Oh, there's a cave that way. Got it. That is out there, huh? Thought it'd be this cave. The one that's 300 meters away. But okay. Dude, this is so sick. I am geeking out about this little side quest we got going on here. I am shocked that one of the most interesting things in the entire game is just hidden just off in the corner. That is so <laughs> that is so crazy. At least they give you like a miscellaneous like investigate the distress call in Caribdis or whatever, but still. Okay. Um let's use a neurojack. I don't even know if we need the neurojack, but we have enough that I'm not really worried about it, to be honest. Okay. Let's see what we're working with here. I've been buying food and drink here and there, but I it's really hard to get enough stuff. Still have no beans, four butter, nine noodles. <sighs> Come on, baby, please. Oh god, we need those sudden developments so bad. Two tranquility sunray, no. Oh my god, we failed. And only one we have no liquor? I just swore we had liquor. Huh. What counts as liquor? Yeah, track that, please. Let me know what's going on with that. Actually, you know what? Oh, we've never tracked anything. Let me let me track. Yeah, 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 yeah. Track that. And track that. Keep me posted on those specific things. I don't know how much copper we have, but it's got to be like, what, 20? I don't harvest copper. I just hit E on it when I'm scanning it and I move on. Getting 150 copper together is going to be a pain in the ass. No way. Resources. Copper. 33. That's more than I thought, and it's still almost nothing. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'm gonna... <laughs> Whew, wow. I'm going to do a couple things and then go out to the cave and I'll see y'all at the cave. This is so wildly interesting. Oh my god, this is awesome. Alright, so. Uh, it's actually been a couple days since... So, you just went forward like two days in me recording here. And uh, because I got caught up in hanging out with friends and stuff, I ended up surveying this planet. And most of Caribdis, to be honest. So, we are higher level than you saw a second ago. So, let's go ahead and spend the skill point we earned on a rifle, probably. Either rifle or ballistic. Let's go rifles, 30%. Beautiful. I don't know if we're even going to take that, but that's good. Now, our mag sniper does 733, which is still not a lot. I'm going to be honest, this mag sniper is not that good. Um... But it's good enough for killing, you know, aliens on alien planets most of the time. Most of the time. Not even all the time. The Revenant's up to 52! Oh! That is so, that is so good! What is that damage? Oh, I love it. Anyway, also, the cave is right here. It's like... I could have done this right away. Like, I didn't need to make a cut at all. Unless this is bugged or whatever, but... This is, this is like, right next door. Yeah, this is right next door. The walls are right here. We, like, didn't even leave. <laughs> I thought it was going to be so much further away. I feel like an idiot, but whatever. Here we are. Alright. Oh. What the? 
All right, Wyatt, talk to me. You came. I, I just can't take a chance. These clones, they, they're psychotic, crazy. If they find out, I'm sorry. I, I just can't take the chance. Is Wyatt not a clone? Take a deep breath. Uh, tell me what this is really about. You're just too smart. I'm not Wyatt Earp. I wish. God, how I wish I was. I was cloned off a monster. America's first serial killer. H.H. H. Holmes. Okay. Well, that is less auspicious. True. Uh... Who is H.H. H. Holmes? He was a deranged lunatic on old Earth. In the 1890s, he owned a hotel. He'd lure people there in this crazy hotel with all sorts of terrible rooms. But I'm not him. You gotta believe me. You're not. You're a clone. Yeah. <laughs> Must be a terrible burden knowing you shared DNA with Holmes. It's like a living nightmare. If you go to the facility, I know you'd find out who I am. And if you let any of these bloodthirsty maniacs know, they'd kill me. But no, that wouldn't be the end. Every time my new clone would appear, death, torture, pure hell. I'm afraid it's you or me. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> the way he said that, he's so confident. <laughs> we don't have to do this. There's got to be another way. I just don't see <clears throat> no way out. I can just not tell anybody? Bro. <laughs> be Wyatt Earp. Be the hero. You can choose that. I can wish it a million times. Wow, we actually failed that. That's tough. I can see you're scared. Deep breath. Think about it. I just am not sure. You don't stand a chance against me. Don't throw your life away. You can trust me. I won't tell anyone. I want to believe you. I do. I'm... I'm going to trust you, okay? Just Good. Don't tell him. I think he's looking at Andresia, not me. This never... 8,000 credits, all right. All right, well, Wyatt Earp's little thing ended up not being so much after all. Okay. Fair. Wait, whoa, whoa, is that what I think it is? Oh, I thought that was like a, uh... Uh, I thought that was like one of those alien sites. No, it's not. Okay. All right. I'm going to go fly over to the facility then, and we're going to see exactly what's going on at the facility. I'm ready to... I'm ready to see, dude. This whole, this whole quest line is so wild. I'm so stoked. I'm so pleased that something this cool has been hiding in the corner all this time. And so we're able to have like one, at least one really good thing to do before we finish the game here. I'll see all y'all there. Alright, let's go solve some of this mystery. Looks like we're going to be in the dark, literally, on this little trip of ours, but I'm ready. Crucible does not appear on any star charts. What is here is a mystery. True! This is some crazy stuff. Who set this up? Hunting Maggot Maw? That's new. Uh, are they hostile? And a space roach. What? Oh, wait, I'm only missing one fauna. How could there possibly be... What? I'm so confused. A hunting space roach? Okay. Um. Are they really aggro? Look at that. <laughs> Little hunting roaches. That's... Okay. <clears throat> Evolution failed them there, I guess. Huh. Well, let's take a look inside. Um. We have... The project for big damage. And we have... Uh, the Revenant for big damage. These are our big weapons right here. Plenty of ammo each, though admittedly both go through ammo very quickly. Let's go in the facility here. How is Project's damage looking, by the way? Because we've upgraded heavy and ballistic damage, right? Oh, the micro gun. The X989, yeah. 38 damage at 30, 350 fire rate. 
It's not as strong as the Revenant, but it is, and it doesn't do Lacerate. But it does have a much larger mag. The Skip Shot Exterminator. Oh my god. Alright, so depending on whether we're fighting um, robots or aliens or turrets or whatever, we'll switch between the weapons. Damn, this is so sick. I'm ready. What are we working with here? There's something in here. Sounds like aliens to me. Looks like we'll use the project. Oh. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's see. Yeah. The aliens are killing it. It's dead. I don't usually sneak anymore, but this looks really cool. Oh my god, it's like this. It's one of these kind of environments. It's 100% going to be aliens being the main threat. The Maggot Moss. Oh my goodness, get wrecked. Woo! Now they don't stand a chance. Absolutely no chance. Whoops, that's not the button I'm looking for. How do I... V, okay. I was going to say, how do I melee things? In case Andresia doesn't shoot these things in time. <laughs> Got it. Nice. I don't want to spend... I don't want to spend ammo on these things. Sneak attack, huge. Whoa, these things got lit up. Diary page escape. This confinement is driving me crazy. Day after day underground. I think Genghis is right. Escape is the only option. What? Genghis was here. Find clues about the facility. One of seven. Okay. That's enough sneaking for me. Let's go. We can just melee the roaches. Okay. Yo, <laughs> this... I, I, I'm going to say the same thing I've already said like five times in this episode, I'm sure. But this is so cool. This did not have to be here. Reborn. Today I am here new. They tell me I was here before, that I have been reborn. I have knowledge of a son, Kublai, and his accomplishments. Of being the founder of a great empire to rival any in history. The machines tell me I am someone I am not. I will not play by their rules. Nice. Let them know that you're your own person, for sure. There's a bed there. That's funny. Come on. There it is. Just a bunch of roaches. Little nuisances in the way. It seems local fauna has been nesting here. Okay, well, I guess I'll take this copper. Why not? I need 150, apparently. You know how it is. Interesting. Thought I was getting sucked in there for a second. Dude, they got messed up in here. This is really bad. Kind of horror-esque a little bit. But there's almost no music at all. It's dead silent in here. Okay, more maggot maws. Okay. She's got that. Anonymous last words. I woke up for the first time right here and now I bleed. When first I heard the mission I felt a thrill. We were chosen. We would rule again. But after spending countless days, nights, who is to say in these windowless halls? We do nothing. The facility feeds us, the facility provides, and we just argue. But now we do more. We turn to murder. I pray you find this, brother of my blood. Do not trust Bill Hickok. He is not who he seems. Ooh, who is Bill Hickok? Is he the guy who set it up and wanted to live amongst them? Like, what's going on here? I do not need to be using... You know what? I'm going to go to the weak little sniper because I don't think these things are deserving of our ammo at the moment. That's not the right ammo, is it? No. Dang. That's right. They need heavy fuses for the Big Bang. Ah, 
which way do I go? This way, I guess. I don't know, this feels like it keeps going, doesn't it? Or is this a dead end? This is a dead end. No, it's not. Oh god, which way was the right way? I don't know. I don't know which way was the right way. Am I going? Oh, wow! Okay. Yeah, we'll come back. Another dime. Let's, let's go the other way. This looks like this is the way it actually is supposed to be going. <clears throat> you know, I don't want to miss a single thing while I'm here. Especially all the clues. I want to know all the story here. All the lore that they can give me. I want to know exactly what's going on at this facility. Because this thing has been weird and exceptional. As far as ideas go. As far as the area itself. What it could be. Some trauma packs. I actually need that. Grab the cheese. Udon counts? Sure. If it's if it's marked for pickup, I'm gonna pick it up. Ada's questions. Unanswered questions. Who created the facility? Is the mission the real reason it was created? Do we really share the DNA of our namesakes? Are any people watching us? Are the robots as unintelligent as they appear? Are the reborn really what they claim? So many more questions. So few people are asking the right questions. Huh. <laughs> You're great. 530 credits. We love that. Not that we need more credits. I mean, we're doing just fine on the credit front, but all right. All right, yeah, I guess we do go this way now. All right. Onwards we march, and I'll actually be able to use a real gun right now, because a level 100... Legendary. That's actually something pretty decent. Alright, Andreja, here we go. Okay. Okay. Come on, where'd the big guy go? Where'd the big one go? I know you want to. Is it too big to come in here? Is that why it's running away? What's going on here? <laughs> Where did it go? It's somewhere in here. There it is. Gotta be it. Did we kill it or no? No, it is tanky actually. Look at that thing. There we go. Now I can see some health bar. There it goes. Okay. Yeah, that thing was pretty beefy. Almost used the whole mag right there. Not on just the thing alone, but on the entire room put together. Um, up is probably the way we're supposed to go, so let's go this way first. Okay. Heart of the facility. Years of trial and error, and I've attained proficiency enough to call myself a programmer. It is amazing how far things have advanced from my memories. To think Babbage and I would open this untold world of knowledge and power. I realize I never w will be a masterful programmer. I have no books or text to advance myself, but the intricacy of the security here is daunting. Facility is on full lockdown and the only solution is the security override code. But where is it? This part of the facility was closed to us until Genghis set off his explosions. And even here, there's nothing of the sort. I've only had more time to think, but the monsters lurk in every hall now. Perhaps the damage to the facility means this is my final life. A pity. So much more to discover and learn. So Genghis Khan's explosions are what set these things free, so to speak? Dude, look at that thing. That thing is horrifying. <laughs> so many roaches! Go away! Just leave me alone! I can't go this way. Oh, because it's on lockdown. Derp. Uh... Let's see. More ammo. More ammo. We do like ultra mags. They weren't the right ones yet, but it's a good start. <clears throat> so is the facility where they first started, and then they had to move to the Crucible because they were getting overrun at the facility? Is that what's going on? It was like a backup plan almost? What are we working at here? The facility itself. Hell yeah. 
I still need more answers for sure. What are we looking at? This doesn't activate, does it? Oh, it does. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> I was going to need that too. Good thing I did. Okay. This is back outside. What? I'm not asking Yannick about nothing. Find clues about the facility. What is this area? Okay. So this was a start. That might open eventually, but probably not. That's where we went originally. And now there's an area back here we haven't seen? Is that what we're getting at? I honestly just don't know. Those are interesting sounds. I don't know. This is, this, this is honestly just one huge mystery to me. I have almost no clue what's going on. I gotta go back in. What did I miss? I, I clearly missed things. Okay. Maybe there was a computer I was supposed to activate that I didn't activate. That has to be what happened. That has to be what happened. I just, I just botched it because I didn't see a computer I was supposed to use. That's my fault. Let's go ahead and grab this back. Speed run. Oh, another clue right here that I just walked right on by, discovering Galathea. Managed to break into the top floor. It's a spaceship, as we all assumed. The records call it the Galathea. Most of the ship has been stripped down, but amazingly the comm system was operational. There was a message from another ship called the Beagle. When I played the transmission, it was just raw noise. I'll try to go back tonight. Oh, ho, 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 really? No, they, they will not. Milk, I guess. Um, Alright. So I totally missed that one. There's got to be one more I missed, as well as a computer I missed. That'd be my... That'd be my guess. We'll open this, I guess. We haven't opened a safe in a while. Just in case this is what we're supposed to be doing. And then a solo. And then... What? This with... This? Uh, ta There's a lot of things this could be, to be honest. If we did that with this... Perfect. Nope, not that. That one. There we go. Actually, a decent amount of credits and a gun we can sell for a normal, a nice amount. Trauma pack, the works. That was not a bad save, to be honest. Okay, that's gotta be the other clue. How did we miss this? I, I was just not doing a good job seeing my stuff. No, I was not. This was right on the ground in front of me. Gang has somehow got a hold of explosives. Last night we woke to a thunderous din. The facility has been repeating incessantly. Containment breached. It is maddening. An expedition was sent to the outside this morning. They report predators. Deadly ones. All about. Amelia and Monoranus are furiously working to come up with anything that could be used as a weapon. I tried to get into the facility's inner sanctum to no avail. There's nowhere to hide. Nothing to be done but wait. Choose which society to give facility information. What? There's no way that's it. There's no way that's it. And which society to give the information? I wasn't in love with any of them, to be honest. There's gotta be a computer I'm missing here. One up here, maybe? No, yes, no. Facility restricted wing computer. Here we go. <clears throat> Attempt manual override. Hard lock of restricted wing access. Security override code required. Wow, you need... You can't use a manual access? Yikes. Uh, are they supposed to give us that info and then we come back another day? Man. I... I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and look around, and if I see nothing, I guess we'll go back to the Crucible and give the information in hopes that maybe that will provide us further info to be able to get through this security override. I don't know. I'm gonna look around first, though, see if I can find anything good. Um, if I do, I'll let you know. If not, then I'll see you at the Crucible. This has been 
<laughs> way different than what I was expecting, but I'm all here for it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the video, consider giving a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. But either way, thank you so much for joining Andresia and I on this journey in Starfield. And we will see all of you for what will probably be the end of what's going on here in the Crucible and the, and the facility in Charybdis 3. Next time. I don't even know where to begin looking, to be honest. I don't, I don't think there's anything left here. <laughs> this, this is so... My brain is racking itself for the first time in so long in this game.